It's an active energy generating system. And it seems to me that it dates from a time where all of the Earth was actually more energetic. This is the research that we're doing here in Visico at the Pyramid Valley. The, the top area shows roughly our first week of being here, a group of three of us, and four different, five different sections of, of research we wanted to understand about. There's regular orbs, there's flash orbs that I call comet orbs. They appear very short in your footage and very flashy. There's needles, that is probably fast traveling flash orbs. There's mists that travel as a conglomerate together. There's what I call guardians, huge, huge round mist shapes at the water holes. They appear only in the footage, you don't see the mist. And um, there's a purple beam that seems to be an activation of some sort. So this is what I call the purple beams or rays. It's definitely another light phenomenon than the orbing. Everything is coming together as all as one holistic kind of situation, so any information that comes is fitting in with the whole system. And it seems that that's the way it needs to be understood rather than kind of specific areas. There was so much orbing and there was so much good energy going on, so somehow them appearing together in my perception linked them up, but they Maybe it doesn't have Did you anything. have any idea though which did the orbs come because the negative ions were high or did the negative ions be so high I, I, because the orbs, were, did the orbs that, create it? I, I, for a while I thought it's the same. I had this idea about the ions that the ceramics, if they're a bit like an organite, that which produces negative ions, yeah. with the uh, quartz that's in it, yeah. if the ceramic was uh, pressurized whilst it was made, that would activate the quartz to have the piezoelectric effect, yes. which could amplify the organite effect and make strong intensity of negative ions. Yes. Seems logical, it's possible. That would happen if you did it with organite. How much time do you think you'll need to spend here uh, this summer to, to study all these things? To understand it, I think it will be beyond this summer, surely. It's, it's a lot.